Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam. Welcome to day 29 of 30 days of sketches and Scrap Timber. This is today's sketch. So we've got sort of like a paper piecing sketch where we've got this block here, another square block there and then a rectangular block there. Got three photos here, matted, well double matted because we've got the black mat and then the overall sort of film strip mat bit of journaling, title, and three distinct embellishment clusters. Whether I stick to that or not remains to be seen. I have, however, stuck to the paper pieces, so the three pieces. Today's prompt for Scrap Timber is Mixed Alpha, which I will be doing. Now, as you can see, I've got loads of stuff out. I have made a start. September has just been the most crazy month ever I've had. So much going on, we've dotted about flare, we've done 25,000 flare or something crazy like that. Got all the orders out now, moving on to October flare, making advent calendars, November flare, events, challenges. Then I've had the video a day for this, I've been doing some other videos for coming up series and hops and stuff. So it's been a really crazy month and I've absolutely loved it but sometimes there isn't enough time in the day. So I've had to make a start and pop on to finish it off with you guys. So for this one, I am using Cute and Crafty from Doodlebug. This is the new Crafty collection, which not long been out. I've got most of the collection. No, I've got all of the collection. There are three ephemera packs, the odds and ends, the chit chat, and the bits and pieces, florals, tags, and tabs. I've already took, been through the chit chat and pulled what I think may work. I've got the mini icon stickers, the icon stickers, shape sprinkles, doodle pops, all sorts. And obviously loads of paper. I'm also combining it with crafting with my gnomies from Photo Play. I've pulled a couple of ephemera pieces and I've got the sticker sheet. And I've also combined it with Craft and Create from Cartabella. So three fairly recent crafting collections. And I've just put them all in one box together. So we've got Create and Craft. We have got Crafting with Monomies. We've got the Petite Prince to go with Cute and Crafty. And we have got Cute and Crafty. So they are the collections we're working with today. So let's see where I've gotten up to so far. So here is my background, my base of my layout, which I have pretty much completed. I've used this from Cute and Crafty, which gives me all the colours to pull in. Then I've used this one, which pulls in all of these colours in like paint splatter. I love this paper. One of my favourite ever papers because you can use it for a background for pretty much anything. Then this paper is actually, it's the textured, awesome Cartabella quality. Um, just lots of little scissors in all the colours as well. So that gives us this shape for the background. Now, on here, you can see there is a white gap between there and there for between the papers. I didn't like it. I tried, but I just did not like it. And it's a shame because <laughs> I actually used a sheet of pattern paper. So I don't know if you can see, but I used this pattern paper. So I've actually lost a sheet of pattern paper effectively because I wanted that to be showing, but it just, it didn't work for me. I didn't want to bring another colour in because it clashed with this. So I went through my washi tape stash because I don't have any washi tape from this collection. I don't know if there was any washi tape or not. I'm not sure. There was with the theme park one because I've got two of those. But anyway, so I went through and I pulled out this cool washi tape, which is basically loads of little triangles in red, blue, pink, orange, yellow, navy and white. So most of the colours. doesn't have any of the pinks, but it's got purple. So I went with that and I put one here and one there. And I think it looks all right. I think it works. Pulls all the colours together. So that's where I'm up to. 
I am scrapping. If you watched my Spiegel Mom Scraps video recently, yesterday maybe, you will have seen I did a layout with a collaboration kit between S Spiegel Mom Scraps and Dotty About Flair. So I'm scrapping another businessy scrappy photo for me. And it is just a picture of the flare mix and the sequin mix because myself and Sarah Scraps designed these. So she designed the sequins and I designed the flare. And I wanted to document it because I'm quite proud that I managed to do a collab with such an awesome company. So that's what we're documenting. I have already put a piece of po poem, <laughs> foam onto this photo strip. I matted it on one complete strip. It's this sort of greeny, greeny, yeah, minty green paper from Cute and Crafty, and I've just put foam. So what I'm going to do, I have left a gap all around intentionally so that I can tuck things in easily, such as stickers, ephemera and bits and bobs and I want to put this see I've put everything completely wrong I want to put this so I can see the washi tape so I think we'll put it somewhere there so that is the base of my layer and I've stuck pretty close to the sketch pretty much exactly to the sketch actually I have probably made this piece bigger than it is in the sketch and these smaller these are more square than rectangular but still pretty close to the sketch for scrappy Adam so there is my layout I, I pulled this piece out it just says eat sleep craft repeat and it's a little cute gnome I thought it looked like a guy gnome I don't know why it's not me putting labels on anything I just it was cute that that's all it was so I want to bring him in bring him in here because I'm a guy I'm a crafty guy it was eat sleep craft repeat or eat sleep flare repeat for me and I thought see that's what happens when I try and make a circle can't do it doesn't matter how hard I try so I'm just gonna pop a load of adhesive on there and pop this little guy up on foam and I'm using my handheld roller stick it purely because it sticks better to the foam so we're gonna pop him there so that is an addition to what the sketch calls for then I pulled out well I didn't I cut these out this is a little journaling spot and some of the little squares these aren't two by two but they're not three by three they're not even 2.5 by 2.5 i don't think they are sort of two and six eighths something like that so we've got you are a cut above the rest make time to make stuff and crafters gonna craft so i kind of liked this one but i like that one as well so I may bring them in, pop them there. I've pulled this out because I would actually quite like to do some journaling on this layout. So I thought that might work there. Then this is from Crafting with Manomies. I've pulled out four of the collaboration flare and look how cute this is. This is from the doodle pop cute and crafty so it's from that it's a pair of scissors uh, on foam and I've stuck it onto one of the flare which I thought was quite cool and I thought about popping that there and I'm just gonna commit no messing it's late here I'm doing filming this on the day it is 11 30 p.m. on Wednesday the 29th of September and I didn't manage to get ahead enough. I did all the other days by at least a couple of days. But for this one, work stuff just got crazy. So I'm just going to commit, commit, commit. I want to get this in because obviously it is handmade. So I'm going to stick that down there. 
and I'm going to overlap it on the photo because I don't mind that it's covering some of the sequins because you can see enough of them and they're here as well so that works for me. I have also pulled out different flair from different collections we've got abstract color shine sketchy wonky heart crosses uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, and these are from the recent monochrome prize sets i pulled out i'm flitting between things i'm sorry calm down adam slow down so i pulled this so it is one now is this cheating is it going rogue let me know down below the prompt is mixed alpha so i'm taking this as one of my alphas and it says create in all the colors to match this and it's from the chit chat set from the collection and i'm actually going to put my title over here and what i thought was we would put create and then use these alphas this is from whimsical i think one of my most favorite alphas because it's really small and multicolor, and it's foam and this is from the brand new the best day from pink fresh i didn't actually get any of this collection apart from the alpha because i just loved the colors so i have pulled those out as well so we'll put create create with sms and daf or create sequin and flare something like that anyway and I'm gonna put that down there I want to build some clusters here and here and here sort of in line with the sketch I've got handmade with love happiness is handmade a little love this tag let's stick together a cute little button and a heart I think this is going to be too big to get on here. Uh, no, it's not. You know what? Let's just go for it. Let's have a faff free video. And it's actually a video that I'm doing in real time with you without popping back and forth. So I'm going to stick a couple of foam pads under there because it comes off the page and I don't want it ripping there we go I love that actually because they are both handmade the sequins and the flare before we go any further let's check out all these awesome stickers so we'll come back to those let's start with create craft and create from Cartabella. Obviously, the colours are slightly different. These are more muted, but I love the navy in this. And I actually got this and this before I knew this was coming out. And I couldn't not get Doodlebug. So, let's see what we could get so i quite like that punch because i think it's quite it it works with what the products are because obviously to create them you start by punching things so i am going to pop this somewhere quite like the idea of that there and the title layered there then I want a gnome in here as well. We need two gnomes actually, don't we? A Sarah slash Jody and an Adam. So which other one? Let's have let's have this no, because that's knitting or something. Let's have this one. So we're gonna have two gnomes. Although of course don't Oh that match oh that works, that matches that. Don't um tell Sarah or Jody that I am representing them in the form of a gnome. I know gnomes are a bit weird and but they're cute, they're they're different. I like it. 
And that's all that matters. I've just realised I've stuck this sticker down before I actually stuck this down. I'm going to commit and I'm actually going to journal a little bit. Which I do do on my layouts, but I tend to not do on before I share them. I don't know why, it's just I don't. But equally, I don't journal on every layout. I journal less, sorry, I don't journal more than I do journal. Because most of my pictures are just us, one, two, three or four of us just out exploring, having fun. And sometimes I will do multiple layouts of the same day out, holiday, event, activity, whatever. And so there isn't always a story to tell as such, it's just a picture that I like. So everything on here is stuck down. Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. I've got a little love this arrow. And obviously we do love this. Well, I do. So that is there, and I'm just going to let that overhang. Now, before I forget to add more flare, because I don't have my uh, flare reminding lady, aka Jean. So, I'd like to get... about one down there but I think I might actually use one of these now these are from a set called color shine from dotty about flare it's an older set and it's like abstracty art but I quite like it and I thought it would work well because of the colors so we've got that there. that does lift that up slightly but I am fine with that. And I wonder if I could get a flare up there. What about a red butterfly? No. Green wonky heart. Yeah. I just need to decide how I do it. So I'm actually going to stick it over that. So we've got that there. Okay, so I'm just going to pop off very quickly to add the rest of this title because it takes me quite a while to get all those little alphas down. Then I'll be back, we'll finish up a couple of little bits, but we're not far off getting done. So give me a few minutes. Okay guys, I have finished up. I put the title, so we've got create the SMS and DAF collab kit. So Spiegel Mom Scraps and Dotty About Flare collab kit, which is this. Two uh, mixed outfit. It's not as much as I would like it to be, but I've got two. So that may be cheating, but I've got two different fonts. Mixed outfit, I'm going for it. Because equally, I've got lots of words around the place and they're all in different fonts as well. I've added three little word strips here, some florals here with another flare and button, a few little bits and bobs down here with another flare and this little glue tape there. So let me just show you around. There we go. I love those gnomes. So I'm just going to see if there's anything I want to add from this shape sprinkles. This is the bright bouquet and this came with the collection as well. So these are like epoxy stickers um, and they're great little sprinkling bits for sure. So I'm going to add a couple up here just to bring in a few other colours. There we go. I don't want to bring in florals anywhere else. And then these shape sprinkles are cute and crafty. 
they've got lots of little things. Look at the cute doodle pot washi and sprinkles. That's so cute. Not for this page, but cute all the same. I might add a little jar down here just to finish off. What do we think? I might sort of nestle it in there. And that's probably it. So we've got a couple of buttons. No, nope, that is it. So that's going to do it for this layout, guys. This is day 29 of 30 days of sketches. I can't believe we only have one more left. Crazy. Amazing. I hope you like it. This is day 29. This is the sketch and this is what we have ended up with. Reasonably close. Not as busy as usual for me, but busy. And I've got white space up here. Like, what's going on? But there's loads of paint splatters, so that's okay. So yeah, that, that is today's sketch, which I think I've actually kept to pretty well. So I will see you back here tomorrow. Now, I'm hoping it's tomorrow. If it isn't up tomorrow, please, please don't worry. Please just be a little patient. It may be a little bit late, but I'm going to do my absolute best to get it up tomorrow for you because it's the last day of 30 days of sketches. I cannot believe it. So I look forward to seeing you back here again very soon. Take care and see you soon. Bye for now.